habitat. I'm at the Local Roots pop-up in New York City today. And we're here checking out the farm, the Terra Farm. I'm Eric Alistair, this is Matt Vale, we're the founders of Local Roots, and welcome to the world's first mobile Terra Farm. Come on in. world's first mobile traveling version of a Local Roots Terra Farm. It's a demonstration of our indoor farming technology. We design, build, deploy, and operate the world's most productive indoor farming solutions. We package our technology into 40-foot ship containers um, and bring them to communities today around the U.S. so that we can grow and sell the freshest, most healthy, fresh produce available. Inside each farm, we measure and manage every variable that drives plant growth, so we can optimize and create perfect conditions to grow crops like lettuce, um, fall, winter, summer, spring. Whether you're in sunny California or New York in December, you can have access to fresh, healthy food year-round. Four years ago, Eric and I founded Local Roots with the mission to improve global health. And for the past four years, we've been designing technologies that enable us to grow five acres of productive farmland inside of one shipping container, or approximately 600 times more production density per square foot using no chemicals, no pesticides ever, and 100 times less water than will be required uh, to do that in a conventional farm. And so we're able to produce food at the point of consumption that's delicious and flavorful and high in nutrition and, and the things that are good for you, and we can do that and eliminate all of the shipping and transportation that's required for our food system today and get you your product fresher and quicker. We're excited about the next year. We've got some big plans, moving into the new facility, scaling up the team, and uh, look forward to having our products on shelf in a store near you. Excellent. Cool. Can you guys talk a little bit about the water use? The shipping container farm uses a lot less water than traditional agriculture. So can you tell us a little bit about yeah. that, how you're able to make that happen? So we recapture and recirculate all of the water that we use to grow the plants. Um, so we have no runoff and no waste. We even recapture the humidity in the air inside the farm. So that allows us to use 99% less water than a typical lab farm farm to grow the same pounded of produce. Excellent, cool. Can you tell uh, the viewers what you're growing inside this particular demonstration farm? What kinds of lettuce? So we have a, a couple types of lettuce growing in here. You have a, a green butterhead lettuce, you have a red butterhead lettuce, uh, you have some red leaf and some green leaf lettuce as well. So these are some of the types of crops that we grow and sell every day. Um, we also grow things um, like kale, arugula, spray mix, spinach, herbs, uh, and a wider variety of products that we have uh, we have in R and D right now. Excellent, cool. Um, and so, can we talk a little bit also about Local Roots's big announcement about price par parity with traditional agriculture? Yeah, we're we're launching all of our products um, matching matching pricing as you see from the field. So for the first time, first time ever, products grown responsibly without without any pesticides or herbicides and grown locally are going to be available at scale at volume through you know, your normal restaurants and retail chains um, from a company that cares about global health, uh, cares about getting you access to better tasting, healthier food, um, grown in ways that is not burdensome to the environment, um, and bringing the farm closer to you. Cool. Excellent. And can you talk about how a farm like this might be able to go off-grid in a place like, say, Los Angeles, where you're based? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. With technologies like solar and wind and other types of renewable energy, uh, there's a lot of opportunities to couple an indoor farm with those types of um, renewable, renewable energy solutions and take the farm completely off-grid, um, which is not only a, a sustainability goal of ours, uh, but it's going to be how we bring farms to remote locations and extreme environments around the world. Excellent. Excellent. Um, and one of the other things, can you talk a little bit about how you use uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning inside a farm? This. Yeah, so in each of our commercial farms, we have hundreds of sensors collecting data on the temperature of the environment, the fertilizer in the water, and capturing images and data about the plants and how they're doing, and how they're feeling, and how they're growing. 
And by taking all of that data and using computer vision, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, we can then optimize the growing conditions, whether it be how much light we give the plant or what pH the water is at, we can optimize those conditions and to form what we call a growing algorithm in order to increase yield or change the flavor or make a particular product more red or more green or maybe uh, increase the production of vitamin C because we know that's, that's good for you. So by collecting the data and then leveraging machine learning, AI, and computer vision, we can actually grow better food using fewer resources. Excellent. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Once again, this is Lacey Cook for Inhabitat, and we're at the Local Roots uh, Terra Farm in New York City. Thank you. Need more lettuce. <laughs>